Hello, my name is Bertha Vasquez. I am a third year maternal fetal medicine fellow at UPMC Pinnacle in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This study was conducted along with my co-fellow, Aisha Hussein, also a third year maternal fetal medicine fellow at UPMC Pinnacle in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Our study was accepted as an electronic poster at the AIUM 2020 conference. The title of the study is Accuracy of Estimated Fetal Weight in the Third Trimester. The aim of our study was to determine whether fetal growth scans that are performed after 37 weeks gestation can be relied upon to give an accurate estimation of fetal weight, and also to help guide antenatal management as well as delivery recommendations. We aimed to support our departmental standard of care concerning serial growth ultrasounds into the third trimester regarding accuracy of these estimated fetal weights. According to ACOG, growth can be routinely evaluated with serial fetal ultrasound examinations every few weeks. Due to the inherent error associated with ultrasound measurements, the accepted overall margin of error between estimated fetal weight and actual birth weight is 15%. However, when considering the management of delivery, estimated fetal weight should be as accurate as within 5%, although 10% is considered acceptable. The methods for our study are as follows. This was a retrospective, descriptive, qualitative study with a total of 1,785 cases where the estimated fetal weight was obtained by our maternal fetal medicine practice within three weeks of delivery compared with actual birth weights. The estimated fetal weight and actual birth weights were reported as mean and range. The significant difference between estimated fetal weights and actual birth weights were tested by pair t-test. Pearson's correlation was then used to detect significant linear relationships between the estimated fetal weights and the actual birth weights. The difference in error rates among the weight categories and gestational age categories were assessed by chi-square tests. A p-value less than 0.05 was considered statistically significant. All of the data analysis was done using SAS-9. Of note, the weight categories used for our study were less than 2,500 grams, more than 2,500 grams to less than 4,000 grams, and more than 4,000 grams. The gestational age categories were less than 37 weeks, 37 and 0 to 37 and 6 weeks, 38 and 0 to 38 and 6 weeks, 39 and 0 to 39 and 6 weeks, and 40 and 0 to 40 and 6 weeks. This table shows the demographics found in our study. As mentioned before, there was 1,785 women who met criteria for the study with a mean age of 29.5. You can see there the race distribution and the gestational age distribution of our population. This table demonstrates the error rate by weight. An error rate of less than 15% was noted as 81%, 86%, and 83% for actual birth weights of less than 2,500 grams, which we have labeled microsomia, more than 2,500 grams to less than 4,000 grams, labeled as normal weight, and more than 4,000 grams, labeled as macrosomia, respectively. The error rate of less than 10% showed a decrease in number when compared to the error rate of less than 15%, as it was 66% for the actual birth weight of both microsomia and normal weight, 
while it was 65% for actual birth weights of macrosomia, more than 4,000 grams. The error rate of less than 5% showed a further decrease in number being 41%, 38%, and 37% for actual birth weights of microsomia, normal weight, and macrosomia, respectively. This slide demonstrates images used for fetal biometry. Starting from the top left corner, you see a fetal head with the biparietal diameter and head circumference measurements. Over to the upper right, you see a femur length, followed by the lower right, humerus length, and last, the lower left corner showing an abdominal circumference. This table demonstrates the error rate by gestational age. As can be seen here, the error rates of less than 15%, less than 10%, and less than 5% for gestational ages of 37 to 40 weeks was seen as 86%, 68%, and 38% respectively. The error rate of less than 15% for gestational ages of less than 37 weeks was lower when compared to the gestational age in other categories. This was significant, with the p-value of 0 0.0227. What we found in our study were that our estimated fetal weight measurements at 37 weeks and beyond may be considered accurate as our error rate is below the acceptable rate of, the, of less than 15%. Despite the popular consensus of inaccurate late third trimester estimated fetal weights, we found that with increasing gestational age and increased actual birth weight, our estimated fetal weights are within acceptable error rates. We also found that there was no significant difference between weight categories as well as in weight estimations at gestational ages greater than 37 weeks. In order to utilize our estimated fetal weight measurements for antenatal management and delivery recommendations, however, Improvements in our biometric measurements should strive for improved error rates of less than 5 to 10 percent. Thank you very much for your time. Please feel free to reach out to us via emails as noted below. And please feel free to use the QR code seen on this slide for additional information. Thank you.